Hello! So today we are doing a bit of a DIY, a thrift flip, an upcycling, if you will. Basically today, Blue is with Grandma. They're on a walk right now, so we figured it's like a nice, beautiful, sunny summer day. So we're gonna go outside, spray paint some things. So this is our entrance area, and I realized that we have a lot of white furniture, and obviously like most of these things are Ikea, so it makes sense. But I feel like I kind of want it to be more colorful, kind of match the vibe of the shoes. So we got this rack, which I really, really like because it has some flat areas. It's like kind of messy right now. So we're gonna spray paint this. And this was a shelf that I think we also got from Facebook Marketplace, but I don't really like the brackets on it. So we had this one just laying around and this is one of those Ikea floating shelves and so we're gonna spray paint that as well. Alrighty, while well, we're in our spray painting clothes, boop, boop, and time to go downstairs and get started. Yes, Woohoo! Let's go. Do those transitions, girl. Side. Ooh, it's super sunny. It's so sunny. We actually had to wait like a whole week. Like we wanted to do this last week, but it was so rainy. And obviously you don't want to spray paint when it's rainy, but I'm so excited. So these are all of the things that we have to spray paint. So I have this like masking paper, which is what I'll use when I am trying to stencil. This is definitely gonna be some trial and error. We'll see if that works, but I have a tarp to lay on the floor so we don't spray paint the alley. And then we have a toothbrush to try some speckling later. Also gonna be some trial and error. So these are the Bare Spray Paint and Primers. So they come in 18 of their most popular colors. And I really like using them because they're really easy to use. They're great for like big and small DIY projects. And especially with trying to paint this, I definitely don't wanna try and do that with like a brush. And I like it cause it's fast drying. So then that way we can kind of get like our two coats done and then call it a day. So I'm pretty excited. It'll stick to metal, it'll stick to wood. So these are the options that I gave for the rack and then y'all chose this one. I'm really excited about this one. I was hoping you would choose this one too. <laughs> and another thing I was gonna say, the reason why I love these bare spray paint and primers is because it's paint and primer in one. And so then that way you don't have to prime it first and then paint it. But then also the design of the bottle is great because you're gonna be spray painting a lot and the shape of it helps prevent finger fatigue, which is nice so your finger doesn't get super tired. Yeah, so you wanna shake it for like a minute. Another thing to note is that you have to recoat before one hour or after 24 hours. We encountered a challenge. There is now a car here, so we're gonna have to create a little barrier because I definitely don't want to spray paint their car. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I definitely missed some spots. So Dan's going in and spraying any of the things that I missed, but. These are the yellow guys, they are looking good. And then these are the options that I gave for the floating wall shelf color and y'all chose that one, which I was kind of hoping you would choose too. So you guys chose actually like all the ones that I was kind of leaning more towards. Just have to wait for this to dry and then we're gonna do some speckling. Hopefully it looks good. I'm like, dude, it's not gonna look good, but it's, right now it looks good. It looks great, like as a two-tone. I totally forgot that we got gloves and I forgot to use them. I got some spray paint on my hands. You didn't get that much. I don't know how I got so much on my hands, but I'm definitely gonna use this for speckling because the technique is literally just like you doing that with the brush, so I don't want that all up in my nails. We're using the flat white bare paint and primer and you just spray paint in your little container. And then you use your toothbrush to just get some paint. Can we test it on here? Okay? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Oh my god, there's a hole. There's a hole in the lid. Ah! So we'll probably have to get another container. See? Oh, that's cool. Speckle. 
It's cute, hey? Okay, yeah, we need another container. Ducky, should we go dig in the recycling? Sure. <laughs> How to die. These do not make sense. These do not. You know what would be a good one? Would be like this yogurt. Oh, you know what? That right there. Do you see it? Dumpster dive. It's you pretty clean, hey? It looks unused. It actually looks unused. Alrighty. Ooh. She cute. I wanted like small speckles. Cause like I know people do like brush and they do that, but that gives you bigger ones. Doesn't it kind of look like old kitchen countertops? Like old kitchen countertops? Yeah, yeah a little bit, but like because like of the color and like yeah, the. You know what it looks like? It's like those like paper cups from like the 90s. So now we're just waiting for these babies to dry, and so far it's looking good though. I love that we just created like this little, this little site this for little, us to like, spray paint. Yeah. It's great. So much space <laughs> in the alley. <laughs> the tarp is a good move. It's large. Oh yeah. This is so crazy. Dan's brother just texted him and said that his wife is in labor, so Blue's gonna have a cousin like today. Oh, this is insane. <gasps> They're like they went on their baby moon. They're like in a soyos. And then like they didn't expect it's gonna happen, but like her water broke. She's having like yeah. He every just like minutes. messaged that she's in labor. Bro. Holy crap! Oh my god, so exciting, so crazy. That is insane, bro. All right, so these babies are dry, so we're gonna put them on. We're not gonna screw them on. We're just gonna bring it up, we're and then yeah, and then tomorrow we're gonna do the stencil. So we'll bring the little slats back down here. Hello, hello. So it has been two days since we spray painted our little shelves yellow, and now we are going to attempt to do a little flower stencil. So fingers crossed it works out. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. It looks cute. She covered. Now let's see what it looks like when it's off. Ooh. Cute. Yeah. Wow. Voila. Cute. Yeah. I'm excited to see it all together. So we finally put everything together. It looks really good. I actually, it exceeded my expectations. It feels very Nickelodeon, like SpongeBob-esque, which is clearly very fitting for our home. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. You been on my mind lately. I tell you all the time, baby. You make me feel fine when you got your hands in. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I love it. I think it's so cute. The flowers are so cute. And I feel like now that we've done this, part of me wants to do these guys, but I'm loving it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to check out any of their spray paint and primers, then I'll leave the link in my description below. They have really great colors, so make sure you check them out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.